Hi guys, Sean Osmond here, and today we're going to be learning how to use iBook Author to create an iBook um, or an eBook. And um, I'm basically going to have three videos for you. This will be the first one, and uh, in this video we're going to cover creating the eBook or interactive iBook, however you want to call it. And then the other two videos will talk about publishing and things of that nature. So uh, I guess the first thing you need to do is you need to download iBooks Author which you can do from the Mac App Store. And unfortunately this is a program that can only be used on a Mac, so if you're on a PC this will not be an option for you. This is a Mac only program. But you should be able to type in iBook Author in the search bar up here. Let's see what happens. and right here it is and you can see I've already installed it but if you haven't uh, downloaded it yet this is how you get it and you can just uh, easily download it right from the App Store so it's pretty simple to get a hold of and then once you open it it basically actually let's just start over I want you to see what it looks like when you open it so you open iBooks author and then you get to choose which uh, you know which template you want and uh, I've created two iBooks so far, and I just used the contemporary one, but you can use whichever uh, template you think best suits what you're working on. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose contemporary here. And then this is our theme, or template. Um, and as you can see, you got some options here on the left, uh, book title, intro media, table of contents, glossary, and then you've got some options at the top. Um, here's where it gets just really really simple so we can click on book title here we can edit the book title so I can just click on it and I can just start typing whatever I want I can put Sean's ebook or whatever you want to put there and then you can click on this you can delete that or I often just put my name there Sean Osmond um, and then I typically delete that one so there we've got our title in there uh, here you can drag and drop an image and we'll, or a movie, and we'll talk more about that here in a second. Um, so here's where you have your chapters, and then you can add your sections, and then more pages to that section if you want. And all this stuff is easily uh, edited. You know, you can take this part out here and add a video there, which is what I typically do. Here we can type in whatever we want. Um, and just you know you can copy and paste or whatever you want to do um, if you already have uh, like your book written in like a word document then you can just drag and drop the document into um, that section there and then up here you can change the name of this section whatever you want to title that as um, it could be the first section Sean's ebook or whatever the title of the section is going to be. Um, and then if we wanted to add another page, we just simply click on the plus sign up here at the top. And we can add another section. Or if we're just adding pages to the section, we can just add pages. So we can do a blank one, one column, whatever we want to do. Um, and then when I'm ready for a new chapter, I can go up to plus sign again, add a new chapter. And then we can have chapter two, and you can name this whatever you want. Um, whatever you want to call that and then here you can put a little description in and all this stuff is movable um, and as you can see it gives you the little lines to keep you uh, help you line it up you can make it look however you feel like making it look um, and it you know it doesn't get much simpler than that uh, when you're within here you can um, add media so if I want a picture I could just drag and drop a photo and then I can size that photo however I want. Pretty simple, right? Um, and you can move that wherever you want. Um, and I mean there's really no limits to what you can add. I mean you can add music, um, you can add so if you have some audio you can add audio which I don't have anything saved. Um, movies is going to be in another video that I'll do for you but you can add videos and I'm going to show you how you go about doing that because they have to be in a certain format so you'll just have to watch video two for that you can add widgets whether it's a gallery whether it's a keynote presentation 
um, an HTML widget, whatever you want to add there. Uh, maybe your book has charts. You can go in and click a chart, um, and you can add that to your ebook, um, which I just did right here. Pretty awesome. I mean, that's just that's just really awesome. So if you were doing a book where you needed to show somebody some stats or whatever, you can build these charts and you can add that to your ebook real easily. Like um, different shapes that you can add, and you can move these anywhere within the book that you want. And then if you want to add a text box, um, this is a picture of me. I can just add a text box and I can say, this is a picture of me, or whatever you want to put in there. Um, so it's very, very simple to create these. Um, now as far as images, obviously we want a photo. We don't want the standard photo here, right? This is going to be your cover art. So the way that we can do that, let me see if I can find... I'll just use the one from my last ebook. Let me see if I can find that here. Oh yeah, because here's my cover art. So basically, if I have a picture that I want to be my cover art, I can just drag and drop. And then there it is. And I think I accidentally drug it in there twice, so you'll have to bear with me here. Let me... Oh, that's my extra. So there. Uh, there's the cover art for uh, the last ebook I just did. And then, not only that, you can replace these pictures too. So let me pull this back up here. Uh, let's see. That's not really the picture I wanted, but we'll just use that as an example. But you can put that there. And then, let's say also this part, like this up here at the top, you can change that to your image as well. So let's just do that as an example. And I'm not using a very good image right now. This image wasn't technically made for that. Oops, let me edit, undo that. Undo drop. Make sure I'm clicking in the right spot here. Um, so we drag and drop, and then it should put the image in the background. So you can make whatever picture you want. You can drag and drop up there. It's pretty simple. Um, and that's how you would do like your cover art or the images at the top, you'll just drag and drop whatever image that's going to be, you just drag and drop it. Um, and it's, as you can see, it's extremely, extremely simple to do. Let's try this again. Drag and drop, and it just automatically replaces whatever that image was with your new image. Very, very simple. You can uh, easily edit your text and your font. Um, so if I double click in here and I highlight this text, um, I've got all my fonts by clicking here, and I can choose whichever one that I want. Um, same thing with colors. Just click on the color that I want, and it automatically changes. So when it comes to creating, it's so, so simple. Um, I mean, that's really all there is to it, to creating it. You know, like I said, you add your pages through here. Um, and then you can also add sections, chapters, preface, whatever you want to add. And uh, here in the next video, I'm going to talk to you about how you add a movie because um, it actually has to be in the right format. And uh, I want to make sure I cover that well. So if you stay tuned for video number two, I will show you how you add video to your iBook.